Hi my beauties, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to do kind of like a box opening slash, I guess haul, because I kind of went crazy, went shopping today, and I kind of, just a, like a rejuvenating day out with a friend, and I got my hair cut, it's short now, shorter than I've had it for like, I haven't cut my hair in about a year and a half, so it's a lot shorter than what I'm used to. But I like it, so we'll see how it grows out. And because I'm trying to get it to like, you know, like this length or whatever, but I had to get some of the dead ends off of it so that it could grow from me dyeing my hair for like, like four months on and off. So, but yeah, so I cut my hair and I just bought some new makeup products. I was waiting for a couple of palettes that I bought from BH Cosmetics to come in. I finally got them in and I'm, I haven't opened them yet. So I wanted to do that and show you guys what I got. So, yeah. Let's start with the little um, perfume that I got. This was from Rue 21. And it was Tar... I think it's Taria. And this is what the box looks like. It's got like a little paisley design there. It's got a heart in the back of it. Um, I don't usually shop at Euro 21 because I can't fit into the other clothing because I am a plus size girl and they don't have any plus, size, plus sizes in our stores here where I live. So I don't shop for clothing there usually. But I do like their perfumes. They smell so, so good. And they're actually just really cute too. They're really cute clothing, or not clothing, <laughs> packaging. It's got this little top here, you know, it's like a plastic top, but glass container. It's got the little ribbon there, it's really cute. And the Paisley design with T or Taria with the heart by Rue 21. And it smells like, like, I don't know, like a sweet heart almost, but more musky I guess is the best way to describe it and I love this one I also have I don't remember what it's called but it's in a black thing and the, these two those two mixed together really really smells like a candy like a really really sweet scent so I really like this I don't remember how oh 10 bucks is how much this perfume was at Rue 21 so and they had it on one of those like display display things like when you first walk in it's like here buy our perfume so I bought perfume because I really like it and then also from Rue 21 this was the only shirt that I knew would fit me there I'm gonna back up just so you guys don't mess don't mind the mess over here I'm still trying to clean my room up but um I bought this shirt because this was my favorite TV show when I was a kid. And it kind of still is. It's got the longer back. And then it's got the, uh, like, rouge sleeves. So it's, like, shorter up here than it is on the bottom. And then it's got, like, a little, just the neckline there. It's so, so cute. And I had to get it because it was the only one left. And, yeah, I really wanted it. And this was... It's on sale for eight bucks. It's a large. Because I'm usually between a large and an extra large depending on what kind of shirt it is. So I'm so glad that I got this because it was the only one that would fit me. There. I mean they got a lot of cute cute clothing, but none of it probably would have fit me. Besides the shirt. And then I got I went to Walmart after Rue 21. And Walmart doesn't really have a lot when it comes to dresses. And I've been into dresses a lot lately. But I got this spaghetti strapped shirt or dress. And it comes about my knees, a little over my knees. And it's got this really cute belt. But I probably won't wear the belt because I don't... I'm not too fond of belts. But it's it's cute belt. It's this little rope thing with the little beads on the end of it. But, um... Yeah, I I like it. It's got like a plunged kind of neck. And it's, it's just a white little cute summer dress that I will probably wear out. Or just because I can. Kind of thing. And yeah, that was my clothing haul. Now 
into the real fun stuff, the makeup. I picked up, because I don't, I guess I missed this shade when I was getting my Provacalypse. So, it's a lot darker on camera, but it's um, shade 550 Play With Fire. And it's just like a dark, deep red from the Provacalypse line. So, I got that. Um, that should be my last one that I need to get from the line. Sorry. And this. This intrigued me. It's from CoverGirl. It's called Lip Lava. And it is just the coolest thing because I don't, it's not really picking up on the camera, unfortunately. I don't know if you can see that like blue tint there, but it's this, this hot pink. I'm guessing it's a lip gloss. I don't know. It doesn't really say. It just says lip lava. But it's this really hot pink. And then when you turn it, it's got like these purple and blue like specks of something. Glitter. I don't know. Oh, it's got like a brush in it. It's so cool. So I got this shade. It doesn't have an... Oh. Um, look, it's Lava 850, and then I got this purpley one, and it's got like blues and pinks in it, and this one's called Lava Nader, oh, Lavender, sorry, Lava Dur, it's 860, and it's also a brush, I'm guessing, yep. Also a brush. It just looks so cool. I couldn't get over it. It looks so so like shimmery and just iridescent and just so cool. I had I had to get it. I don't remember how much it was. I think they were like five bucks each. So I got them. And then the thing I was been really excited for is my BH Cosmetics. I have never bought in from them. I have some stuff from them, but it's always gifts that I got for like Christmas and stuff. So I bought Three palettes from them. Um, they're not new palettes or anything, so you guys have probably already seen them, but they're new to me, so that's all that counted to me. So I'm gonna open them up. I have I just opened the box. Like I just got home from class like an hour, not even an hour ago, like 20 minutes ago. And I opened the box and I came right in here to do a video. So um Oh, I got four palettes. Sorry, not three. I let's start with the party girl one. Comes in like bubble wrap so it doesn't get smashed up, I guess. Because I got have gotten things from like Alta and uh, where the um eyeshadow has been like all crumbly, like it fell apart. So I wasn't too impressed with that. But this is the BH Party Girl palette, the After Hours palette got 32 eye colors in it. It's in this plastic, so I'm going to take the plastic off. I don't really have nails right now, so I'm like hard to get anything off. That's kind of cool that it's got like a plastic. And it's just, oh, it's a magnetic thing. Oh. You guys, you guys, okay. <sighs> it's got a mirror, like all the, they all do. But I hope, I hope, I hope that these will show on camera. Oh my god, they're not as vibrant on camera, but come on now. Like, really? These are so pretty. Ah. And they've got diamond shades, which is basically just... I'm guessing it's like just glitter shades and the purple, a blue, a silver, and a red, like my hair red, which is amazing. Just, oh, they're so pretty. And they've got like a black here that has like blue specks in it. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to do a couple swatches. I'm going to do a swatch of the purple. The purple... Oh, that's disappointing. <laughs> I have to do a couple of, a couple of swipes.
to get it kind of pigmented even a little bit, which, oh well, I mean, you know, what can you do? I bet you with a brush it would be a lot better. Um, ooh, there's a hot pink right there. That's kind of pretty. Yeah, these aren't very pigmented. Like, they're, I mean, they are, but it takes a couple of swipes with the finger at least to get them to kind of be pigmented at all. So that's kind of disappointing, but like I said, it might work better with a brush. You never know. I'll use it for a while and then do my full review when I have used it enough to let you guys know. But it's really pretty. I like the packaging, how it's a um, magnetic clothing, or closing too, so that's always good. I'm excited to use this. Because I mean, they are pretty. The camera doesn't show it, but it is pretty colors, so pretty excited. And then the next one is the Wild and Free Baked Eyeshadow Palette. It's got... doesn't say how many colors are in this one on the packaging, which is weird. Usually it says how many are in there. I think it's like six or eight. I'm not sure. If I can get it out of the packaging, that'd be awesome. There we go. Like I said, no nails, so it's hard. Oh, this is also uh, magnetic, and it also has the mirror. It's really cute on the inside, actually. It's got like, these little tribal on the mirror part of it. And then it's got the plastic to cover it up. Oh my gosh. These are awesome colors. It's like a purple right here. It's turning out blue on the camera for some reason, but it is like a very purple. There's a green and a white. Kind of like a uh, greenish yellow. A bronze, like heavy bronze. A green, a light bronze, a blue, and a bluish white right there. This one is actually more of a cream whoa, cream white. Sorry about that. Let's see how these swatch. Still already kind of messy. I'm going to do the darkest color first. How about that? Oh yeah. So much better than the actual. Oh my gosh. Like that. Seriously. Yes. Okay. Yeah, there's, they're kind of dry, but they're baked out eyeshadows, so I kind of expect them to be a little dry. And they're very, very, very uh, shimmery. That's a very pretty palette. I like that one. Oops, I didn't put the plastic back on. This actually does protect the eyeshadows pretty well, so until I use them. So put that back on. Then I got the, this is the Wild at Heart palette. I got basically all the Wild palettes that they had because they had a sale. All of these palettes were $8.99. They were on sale. Originally like almost $20 and these, I got them for 8 Even like, I think it was not even three days later they went up to $10. So I was lucky when I got them and they were only $8. So it's like I said, the Wild at Heart pack, er, palette and it's also a magnetic. It's got the inside here, the paisley or tribal I'm guessing. I don't know what that is. It's like tribal. And then it's got the plastic on it. I don't want to ruin the plastic and then it has got awesome awesome colors this is actually a deep deep purple that is a bright bright pink oh my gosh so bright 
We've got like browns and black and a yellow, or not yellow, it's like a more of like a yellowish brown, orange and like a orangish, orangish tan almost. And then a fuchsia, it looks like, color. Yes, pink. Let's see if I can do a swatch with the pink. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Right there, right there. It's not gonna show up on the camera, but yes. <laughs> or as Alex James would say, yes. <laughs> Very, oh my gosh, yes. I love, love, love these palettes so far. And then the last one, and last thing that I got today was the Wild Child palette. Like I said, all of them were eight ninety nine. So um, they probably the price has probably gone up since I bought these. Though, like I said, it's gone up to eight to ten dollars. Last time I checked, when I went to check the uh, tracking for my shipment, it was. Ten dollars, not even, not even three days later. So, it's like two. I want to go show my sister um, what I got, and it had gone up. So, I was very lucky that I decided to give in to my addiction and buy them when I did. So it's got. This palette right here, it's very pretty. All these palettes are really pretty. I love BH Cosmetics. It's got the pink tribal and the cheetah print, like the outside of the palette. And then it's got these more neutral colors, which is really, really pretty. It's like browns and like deep purple and a white and an orange and pinks and just really, really, really pretty. And I'm always going to swatch the darkest color to see if it actually pays off. Oh, wow. So that deep purple that I was talking about, like right there, that's the deep purple. It's actually, it's purple, but it's, it's like a brown with a purple undertone right there. I don't know if you can see. Probably can't. But it's, I mean, it's purple on my finger, but then when you swatch it, it's got like this brown undertone. It's really pretty though. I like it a lot. So, yeah. This was a good, I'm just kind of wiping this in my pants. <laughs> it's okay though. It's okay. It's all good. Makeup's messy. It's okay. Um, but yeah, these, this because, you know, it was a good day for me today. Like I said, it was just kind of rejuvenating. Life's kind of gotten um, the best of me lately, so I needed the time away from the house. And I'm glad I got my palettes in the mail, and I can't wait to try them out and let you guys know what I think about them. And I really can't wait to try these because I'm like just intrigued right now about them. Yeah, so I can't wait to try these ones out. I'll let you guys know how the clothing fits. Maybe I'll wear the shirt or whatever for next, my next video. This will probably be up. This is April 16th. So this won't probably be up for a few weeks. I have my Ipsy bag opening. I have a makeup foundation review coming up. And then I'll have this up. And then, I don't know. I have some ideas with these palettes now that I've looked at them and everything like that. So, um, maybe I'll have a few looks up. If you guys can think of a look that you want to see, let me know in the comments below or on my Facebook or my Twitter. Or pretty much anywhere that you can find me. Simple Beauty 90 if you look that up on Google, I bet you can find everywhere. I'll have links down below to the ones that I use regularly, which is my Instagram. My Twitter, my Facebook, my Snapchat, my LinkedIn, which is basically just a professional um, connection website. But you guys can add me on there if you have one. Uh, that way we can keep in touch. And yeah, so if you guys have any ideas for other videos that you want to see, let me know. And I will film them 
as soon as I possibly can. My school's got a break here soon, so I'll have more time to film for you guys. So, yeah, that's it. I am going to try all those things out now and let you guys know later as to what my opinions are on them. So, on that note, I hope you guys have an awesome night because it's nighttime now or a day or whenever you guys decide to watch or when you guys actually watch this video, you know, morning, day, afternoon, night, whatever. Have a good one and don't forget that you are beautiful just the way you are and I love you and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.